This is an SU TV News Update, brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. Fargo police are investigating a report of a robbery at a nearby convenience store. Loaf and Jug on University and 12th Ave was robbed at 1 a.m. yesterday morning. Police Lieutenant Joel Vettel said a white male entered the business and demanded money while holding a steak knife. Police tried to track the suspect with a canine but was unsuccessful. The suspect got away with less than $100. No one was robbed during the, no one was injured during the robbery. The Award for Excellence in College and University Teaching in the Food and Agricultural Sciences has been awarded to NDSU's Janice Hager. She is the first NDSU instructor to ever receive this award. The award is given to teachers who show outstanding teaching skills within the Food and Agricultural Sciences. Hager is known throughout campus for her ability to communicate complex issues and for keeping large classes interesting. However, she is not new to winning awards for her teaching, having previously won NDSU's Outstanding Faculty Advising Award and several others. I never really thought I would be a teacher at first. And when I went to NDSU many years ago, I just really liked working in the lab. And I became a microbiologist and worked in a microbiology lab for a number of years. Hagert has been teaching at NDSU for 18 years now. She originally earned her degree in bacteriology and master's degree in microbiology from NDSU years ago. George Zimmerman, the man who earlier this year was acquitted of murdering teenager Trayvon Martin, was charged Monday with felony aggravated assault. Zimmerman allegedly pointed a shotgun at his girlfriend, said Denise Lemma, chief deputy of Seminole County, Florida Sheriff's Department. Zimmerman is also being charged with domestic violence, battery, and criminal mischief in the connection with the same incident. He is being he held in jail without bail and awaits his first appearance in court uh, from a judge on Tuesday. The NDSU's men's basketball team lost on a final shot opportunity last night to the Golden Eagles of Southern Mississippi, 70-69. Trayvon Wright said what coach Saul Phillips described as Trayvon's best game as a bison. Wright had 21 points, 12 rebounds, and the ball in his hands for the final shot with 1.8 seconds left near half court. Wright was swarmed by the Golden Eagles defense and was able to get a shot off as the buzzer sounded. NDSU falls to 1-2 and two on the season. Southern Mississippi is a perfect 3-0. The bison will take on Western Michigan this Wednesday in Kalamazoo. And now let's take a look at the weather brought to you by MatBus. So today we'll have a high of 44 with tonight being mostly cloudy with 30. And then tomorrow we'll have a chance of snow with 35. And now let's take a look at your seven day. So on Thursday we'll be have mostly sunny with a high of only 23. Friday will be mostly sunny with 26. Saturday will be mostly sunny with 14. And Sunday will be partly cloudy or partly sunny with 26, and Monday will be mostly sunny with 33. This has been an SU TV News Update, brought to you by NDSU Bookstore.